Hello there guys, it's Coolfox we're here, and today I'm bringing an unboxing and review of the One Audio A10 wireless headphones. So starting off with the unboxing, on the front you have a picture of the headphones themselves, with the words active noise cancelling written down below as these are active noise cancelling headphones which we will get into in a bit, and you also have wireless headphones written down since these are fully wireless. On the side you have the company name written down, so One Audio, on the front you have the company logo, and on the other side you have the power of music written down which is quite generic in my opinion but nonetheless it's written down, and on the top there is another logo of the company. So on the back you'll find the technical specifications, so the product name as I said before is the A10, it has a battery capacity of 750 milliamp hours which is plenty for a pair of headphones of this size it also has a charging time of around two hours which is quite good it has a use time of 25 hours with active noise cancelling and bluetooth on 40 hours with only bluetooth on and 80 hours with only active noise cancelling so that means active noise cancelling only with the cable plugged into your phone the bluetooth range is of around 10 meters which we will talk about later on and it is quite light at 250 grams, so it is actually very comfortable on your head, but we will talk about that later on as well. It has a driver diameter of 40mm, so they're quite big, and an impedance of around 32 ohms with a frequency response of 20Hz to 20kHz, which again is very common with these headphones. So it also states here the indicator light functions, and we'll go through these later on, so this doesn't really matter that much. And inside the box you will find the headphones, a carrying case, an airplane adapter, a USB-C to 3.5mm audio cable, a USB-C charging cable and also a user guide. So as you can see this does connect via USB-C which is quite good to see since most phones nowadays come with USB Type-C as their charging port and if you have any problems you can either call them on this phone number or send them an email and you can also visit their website which is also listed down here. So now opening up the box inside you will find the carrying case and taking this out you can tell that the only thing you will find is the carrying case and all the other stuff are inside so unzipping it and opening it up you will find the headphones with the aux cable here on the top and here you can also see a little band which is there to hold in the headphones and all the necessary items then you will find a user manual a little card to register the product for two years warranty and also another user manual so taking a quick look at the case here on the front you have the one audio logo and overall the case is pretty good, it's quite hard as well so if it falls you won't really have any problems with the headphones as this will be plenty of protection. The zipper here is also pretty good and it seems like it would last a long time so there's really no problems here whatsoever. And inside you have a soft material so you can tell that the headphones will be nice and snug inside. And you also get a little tab here with their website, phone number and email address. Taking a quick look at the user manual. You can tell that there are plenty of languages inside, so you will not have any problems reading this, but basically all it states are the main functions and what's inside the box again, so nothing really fancy here, but if you have any problems you can easily go through this and check out what problem you have. Then you get the 24 month warranty card, so if you scan the QR code here it will take you to this URL up here, and basically you can see here that you can get a 2 year warranty and also one gift from below. So if you want to register the product you will get some benefits from down here. And if you have a problem they encourage you to send them an email so obviously you wouldn't give them a bad review. Then there is a second user manual with all the warnings so this is also quite large although this is not really that useful so again you do not really need to read this. So now taking a look at the aux cable, opening up the package here you can see that you have two cables and also an airplane adapter so First let's take a look at the USB-C cable and here you basically have a normal USB Type-C cable with a USB Type-A and a USB Type-C which connects to the headphones for charging. Then you also get a USB Type-C to aux port so if you still have an aux port on your phone you can easily connect this via the aux cable. And then you also get the airplane adapter here so basically you put the USB Type-C into the headphones and the aux port in here and you will get the dual airplane adapter on the other side. So now taking a closer look at the ear cup you can see the one audio logo here in the middle with again the chrome black and also the chrome accents here on the ear cup. The swivel joint here is also matte black which is plastic. The headband here is all matte black plastic as well with the one audio logo on the top and you also get the plush material here on the headband so it's slightly more comfortable on your head but basically as I've been saying these are very light so you won't even feel them when you're wearing them. Now with the headband you also have a bit of adjustment here as you can see. 
so they can get longer if you want but generally I do keep them at around this level on both sides. Now taking a look at the controls, on the right ear cup here you have the on and off button, the skip track and volume buttons, you also have a little LED here to show you if it's in pairing mode, connected or disconnected, you also get the USB Type-C port here for charging and for connecting the aux cable. And on the other side all you have is the active noise cancelling switch so if you turn it on as you can see right here the LED will turn green to notify you that it's on. So the active noise cancelling works pretty well although it's not going to be as good as something like the Bose QC35s. It's more going to be on par with the Bolt Tune headphones that I reviewed a while ago as I've been comparing these two before but you can't really complain for the price that you're paying. The ear cups themselves have a lot of leeway here as well and you can see that they are also very comfortable with a very plush material and inside they are labeled with right and left markings here and these are also very comfortable from inside so comfort wise you won't have any problems as well. So to connect these up to your phone it's a very simple procedure all you need to do is hold down the power button here wait for the LED to turn on and start flashing as you can see right here go into pair new device wait for the device to load up and here it is press on it and click on pair and like that you have the headphones paired to your phone without any problems and this is obviously the same procedure on iOS devices as well. So now going quickly through the controls, as you can see pressing the on off button once will pause and play the song. Holding the up button will go to the next song and holding the back button will basically go to the previous song. And as you can see right here the up and down button also act as the volume switcher by tapping them. So as for range these have really exceeded my expectations so I got around 55 feet away which is around 16-17 meters which I am very impressed with since on the box it only states that it's around 10 meters away. Now as for sound quality they also do sound really really good and they also exceeded my expectations in this regard since the bass here is really good, the mids and highs are also very good but the bass in particular is amazing and for music I really like to crank up the bass a bit so these are overall one of the best sounding headphones that I have tried and pitting them against the Boltune headphones that I did a review of you can find a link in the info card up here. These are really good and in my opinion are better as well in some aspects but even in comfortability and these are so much more lightweight as well and the others had a few problems with connection for example. So these for me are a definite win over the Boltune headphones. So I hope you enjoyed this video guys, if you did please leave a like and subscribe for more content. This was Cool Fox and I'm out. Peace.